I'd like to welcome you to the Venue Magic 2.0 Getting Started Tutorials. These tutorials are intended to quickly get you up and going creating shows using the Venue Magic 2.0 show control software. At the end of each tutorial, you will be asked to spend a few minutes using what you have learned before going on to the next tutorial. We highly recommend that you do this as it will greatly accelerate your learning process. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy learning this very powerful show development tool called Venue Magic. In part one, which is this tutorial, we will give you a brief overview of the Venue Magic main screen, timelines, audio tracks, audio clips, and the Venue Magic help screens. This is what Venue Magic looks like when you run it for the first time. On the left, we have the project window, where you can organize all of the components that make your project. We'll have more to say about projects later on. Below the project window is the open files list, which allows you quick access to currently open timelines and playlists. Over on the right, we have the queue control window, where you can set up queue buttons to play timelines, playlists, and audio files with a single click. This part in the middle is a timeline. Since we are going to spend most of this tutorial discussing timelines, we're going to close the queue control window to make things a little less cluttered for now, and we'll return to it later. Timelines are basically where most of the work of building a Venue Magic show takes place. Each timeline is divided into one or more tracks. A new timeline always comes with two tracks already in it. An audio track, where we can place audio file clips, and a lamp track, where we can place lamp effects. A third track type, called an event track, is not shown here. We'll discuss event tracks later on. You can add as many tracks as you need from the insert menu at the top. Each track has a panel for setting up and controlling the track. Double click anywhere in the track panel to bring up the track properties window. And let's change the names of our tracks. To delete a track, click in the track panel with the right mouse button and select delete tracks. Building a Venue Magic show is really quite straightforward. All we do is drag things over from folders in the project window and then place them into a track on the timeline. Let's start by putting an audio clip into an audio track. Here in the project window, we have a folder called Audio. Open it and you will find that it contains subfolders for organizing music, sound effects, etc. Venue Magic comes with a sample library that contains a few music clips and about 200 sound effects. Later on, we'll show you how to add your own audio files to the folder. Let's pick a song and drag it into an audio track. When you drag over an MP3 or Windows Media file for the first time, Venue Magic has to scan the file. Normally this will take just a few seconds. Once a file has been scanned, Venue Magic will not need to scan it again. We can drag the clip and place it wherever we want. While we are dragging the clip, the Clip Time Display window will show the exact start time of the clip on the timeline scale in hours, minutes, and seconds. When you release the mouse button, the Clip Time Display window changes to show the length of the selected clip. Double-click on the clip to bring up the Audio Clip Properties window. Here we can change the name of the clip as shown in the Audio Clip title bar. Please note that this will not change the actual name of the file, nor will it change its name in the project window. The path field shows exactly where the file resides on your hard drive. You cannot change this field. Uncheck this box to prevent the clip from playing when the timeline is run. Check this box to lock the clip so that it can no longer be dragged around on the timeline. On the clip itself, we have the title bar, which shows the clip name we just entered. We can also see a graphical representation of the audio itself. These lines are called envelopes. This audio clip has two envelopes, one to adjust the clip's volume channel and the other to adjust its pan channel. This little box here is an envelope handle. Select and drag this handle to change the volume of the clip at this point. You can add additional handles by right-clicking in the clip where you would like the handle to go, Move to Add Envelope Handle, then select the envelope you would like to add the handle to. Now drag the handle to where you want it. We'll learn more about envelopes later on. 
On the bottom of the audio track panel, you will see a slider and a row of buttons. The slider is the master volume level for the track and will affect audio on this track only. This button locks the track so that clips on the track cannot be added, deleted, or moved. Click it again to unlock the track. Click on this button to make this track the only audio track that will play when the timeline is played. Click this button to mute the audio track so that it does not play at all when the timeline is played. Now let's get back to the timeline itself. This line here is the time cursor. During playback, it will show you where the timeline is currently playing. You can also drag it to where you want the playback to start. The time cursor position display shows the time where the time cursor currently is at. These are the playback controls. Play, stop, fast forward, and fast reversed. Fast forward and fast reverse only function during playback. If the timeline is not in playback, clicking these buttons will instead move the time cursor to the beginning or the end of the timeline. Down here at the bottom of the screen is the timeline toolbar. The best way to learn about the timeline toolbar functions is by using the Venue Magic Help feature. On the main menu bar, click Help, then Content. This will bring up the Venue Magic Help screen. Make sure the Contents tab is selected, then open the Timelines folder and click on Timeline Toolbar. This will display the Timeline Toolbar Help page. When you have finished this tutorial, you should take some time to review this page before moving on to the next tutorial. You can change settings for the currently shown timeline by clicking on Timeline in the main menu and selecting Timeline Options. You will notice five tabs on the Timeline Options window. Click on the Help button or press the F1 key on your keyboard to learn more about the tab that is currently displayed. Take some time to familiarize yourself with the timeline options using the help screens provided for each of these tabs. Some of the settings may not be clear to understand at this point, but we will revisit them later in other tutorials. No matter where you are in Venue Magic, you can press F1 to bring up a help page specific to whatever Venue Magic window is currently open. Venue Magic Help is very comprehensive, with dozens of screenshots and illustrations to help explain every feature in detail. There are also hundreds of cross-references to help you navigate through topics with ease. Before moving on to the next tutorial, take some time to experience some of the features you have just learned. For example, you might want to try creating a timeline with two or more audio tracks playing simultaneously. Try creating separate tracks for music and sound effects, and then add sound effect clips from the sample sound effects library and synchronize them to the music. After you have finished, save your work by selecting File, Save All, and then give your timeline and project a name.